Hey everyone, UVA Josh one here with my newest acquisition. This is an amazing custom uh, that I got that's made by Resin Works Studios. This is a the Wolverine versus Ninjas, and this baby is bad friggin' ass. Okay, this thing kicks major, major, major butt. Um, I can't tell you guys how pleased I am with it. I'm gonna do um, spin around and go over some of the details in the first part of this video. And then the second part of the video, I'm going to um, uh, show you how to assemble part of it. Okay, so first off, here's the box. Um, and this is a really, really nice box, well packaged. Um, I would just tell you guys to be careful um, when you're opening it. It's pretty tightly packaged and just be careful here. I actually cut into it by mistake. Use a razor when you're opening it because it's taped pretty well and you don't want to cut into the box. Um, real quickly, I'm just going to take the box down for a second just to peek. This is a really good kind of really good foam. Really good awesome cushiony foam. It's much better than styrofoam. It doesn't crinkle. There are a bunch of compartments here. There are some for the weapons here. And then underneath, there's the base and then Wolverine on top. But really great packaging. Um, really excellent. Really well done. Very professional. Really very pleased with that as well. So now let's get right on to it. And we'll start talking about the statue in one moment. So here he is. This is uh, Wolverine versus Ninjas. This thing is really, really amazing. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit so you can get a good idea. This, um, this is real metal claws, guys. These are really cool. Um, totally metal claws. The base is amazing. There's a huge amount of detail in this, and I'll, I'll zoom in on it in a minute. Um, I can make a 20-minute video on this, but I want people to actually watch it and not fall asleep, so I will pass on that. Um, anyway, this... Um, Let's just get right down to it, shall we? So, look at the detail on this ninja foot here. I mean, this is really looks like an actual shoe. I mean, there are probably four or five ninjas on this base. I mean, I can't even tell how many. They're all, obviously, they're all defeated and dead. But um, it's really quite amazing how you can see all that. Now, let's just spin this guy around so I can show you more of the stuff that's going on here. So... Here's uh, Wolverine is really, really heavy. Okay, this thing weighs about 24, 25 pounds. I'm guessing. Um, really awesome. Um, the the sculpting on this this is a solid. It's a digital sculpt. It's solid. There's texturing on every part of this costume. Okay, on the gloves, on the Wolverine's um, costume. There's texturing. There's texturing on the ninja's costumes. It's just really well done. So much detail here. Claws are metal. Um, you have all these different little pieces to insert um, when you get the when you get it these um, arrow shafts are I believe metal and all these hands you have to assemble and you know they're magnets they're holding everything in it's really just a great piece let me just show you I just want to give you guys just a little glimpse of the detail I mean look at the detail on these hands okay look at this this looks like a real hand you see the the knuckles you see the vascularity you actually even see the creases in the knuckles so it, it just really there's a huge sense of realism here that's really awesome um, and let's just go up here like that yeah so look he's looking pissed off and also he's looking jacked so I like my Wolverine a little bit jacked so I, I like that um, you know this comics it's he's portrayed in many different ways you know to draw in different ways but I like him when he's real jacked like this. It just adds that, um, you know, superhero flavor to it. So here you got all, you know, all the bunch of ninjas here. This guy's got his eyes closed. Um, you have uh, the, the swords here. The, you know, the feet are hanging off the edge of the base. Uh, as you guys may or may not know, this guy will not fit in a Besta. You have to put it on top. Um, and it fits very nicely on top. The base is very large. And like I said, you're almost getting like four or five statues here in one. It's just really awesome. So I'm going to keep spinning him around. And here is a really cool angle. You see him, you know, with his shirt ripped off. You see his deltoid. You see his deltoid muscle up there where it's ripped. And you see his skin cut. 
Um, they really did a great job. Look at the fab. Look at his costume where it's ripped. You can really see that. And that's all sculpted, guys. There's no fabric on this bad boy. I mean, just an amazing job. This is a digital sculpt. And you imagine the amount of detail that's on this. I mean, look at the costume. You can have the, the seams on the costume. That's all digital. And I don't know if this camera's picking it up, but you can actually see the texturing. Let me just try and see if I can... Yeah, you see that there, there. You can see that there, guys. You see the texture on the costume. I mean, it's just really awesome. And you know, here we are. I'm gonna spin them around a little bit more. I want to give you guys a shot of the base. You see here the the, the throwing stars. Um, again, these claws are real metal, so just really kick ass. Um, one of my best. And I'm a huge Wolverine fan. I'm very critical of, of Wolverine statues, and this is right up there and it's just a great piece it's right up there at the very very top um, this little this piece comes off okay uh, it's easy, not that hard to put on um, let me just show you guys the switch out head now um, we'll go to let's this just comes right off it's a nice it's a strong magnet and let's just get this one on there now there we go so you can see here Hey, look at the detail on this man. He's pissed. He just kicked a lot of ass, and he's, you know, not happy about it. And he's he's marching on. So, um, really, just amazing, I have to say. Really, a great accomplishment by Resin Works. They did a great job. Beyond great, epic. I would call this epic. Um, you will never, you will not get pieces like this from. For many, you know, from most statue companies, you just won't. They just won't take the time. And the time to, to implement all this detail. I mean, look, the paint up is just perfect. It's a really beautiful paint job. Um, again, the texturing, that's the other thing. Everything is textured. And you see all the details, as I was telling you about the hand detail. Just really awesome. So, I, I'm very, very pleased with this. Um, and I'm just going to do one real quick spin around again so you get an idea. And I'm going to back out. And then, like I said, I'm going to show you guys in the next segment. We'll just go over um, some basic assembly. All right, guys. Um, coming up with the next segment, we'll finish today where everything's off. Uh, with the assembly and if you have any questions or comments of course leave them but again great 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 piece okay guys so I wanted to um, show you how to do some of the assembly now so I'm gonna come over here and I normally don't show myself in the videos but to do this I have to do it um, I don't, you know, obviously I don't think any videos that I do are about me or about the pieces that are, they're about the pieces that I review. So anyway, so anyway, I'm going to come around now and show you guys how to do this. So, hey everyone, and, um, got my Wolverine shirt on to match. Okay, so, uh, again, just want to show you guys this piece. The Wolverine body is off, um, the claws are off, two heads. I didn't really want to take off the rest of this and the re and I'll tell you why. Just be very careful when you're assembling this. There are a lot of pieces that are somewhat fragile and you have to wedge in between the hands and whatnot. And honestly, I didn't want to take the risk of taking every little piece out and then reassembling it and getting paint smudges everywhere and damage, whatever. So um, if anyone else wants to do a full, complete review with every little piece going in, be my guest. But at this point, I like this piece too much to go through all that and risk damage. So. Anyway, let me just, I'll just point out some of the things that you need to know. Um, this, the, you know, the two arrows fit into two little holes here inside the base. You just have to wedge them in. Um, this sword fits into a little, uh, little chasm that you slide that in. This hand goes in, this little, I don't know what this weapon is called, but you fit that, you have to fit that in the hand and then put that in with the magnet. This fist uh, already comes in the piece. It's already, you know, attached or assembled, whatever. And then, um, you know, all these various hands and whatnot, you have to kind of figure it out. You kind of got to go through it. I'm just, you'll see, and you know, my piece should be a reference for anyone that um, wants, needs to put this together. Um, and the base of the piece, I'm not, you know, 
I kind of want to show everyone because it's really cool, but I don't want to, again, I don't want to disassemble and, and all that stuff. So um, the, the bottom of the base is really cool. It's colored. It's got some, uh, it's got some artwork on the bottom, but again, I don't really want to show it because I don't want to risk damage and that's the way it is. So um, anyway, so, um, you know, all these you can see, again, showing the spin around without the Wolverine in there, you can see all the different hands and how they're oriented along with the weapons. All right. So let me come back around. Okay, and my little helper is going to help me in a second, but one sec. So this is the Wolverine body, very, very heavy. So the way you want to do this, um, you kind of have to wedge it in carefully um, and be careful. The boots, these are pointy and it's easy to damage these guys. So just be careful when you're putting it in that you don't, you know, because it's easy to chip this guy off. So just be very, very careful. I would grab him kind of around his waist or butt area, another hand on the leg. It's pretty funny, right? And, you know, you want to start, you kind of have to, and there's some little grooves here for the feet, and you can kind of see it, but just, you kind of got to be careful when you wedge it in. Um, like I said, it's, it's very easy um, to mess this up, and I'm almost doing that right now, so... I don't want to, um, you kind of have to, so I would do something like, well, see, it's not so easy, so you got to really, uh, I, did it, I did it really well the first time, but let me just see here. So let's just, now you're gonna find out this glorious uh, test when you guys have to do it yourself. Okay, so you wanna wedge this one in first, and then this one, okay? Just like that, okay? So, so you see it's not so easy. You wanna put this guy in first, you have to kinda of angle it, and then put the back leg in, okay? That's the best way to do it. Okay, wanna hand me the claws? Yeah. Okay, put those down first, buddy. Nice and easy. Yep, yeah, put that put that one there. That one there. Okay, hand me that. Hand me that one. Okay, so this is the left hand, okay, and then you got again the metal claws, these are really kick butt. This is my helper Jordan. Okay. So um, this kind of slides in there. Uh, yep, yeah. oh, like that. Awesome magnet. Okay, really strong. Thank you. Can you hand me that one? Thank you. All right, this one goes, you know, these are pretty self-explanatory. Boom, done. Yep, oh, hand me that. Thank you. Okay, thank you. And it goes like that. Again, very, very strong magnets. And then switch out. I already showed that. So, again, just to review, guys, um, just be really careful when you're putting this just together. Um, there are a lot of very sharp edges and small little... Um, pieces that can get dinged and chipped so just be really really aware of that oh one other thing I want to show you guys I forgot to mention this piece comes off um, it's not that I mean I don't want to mess with it right now to be frank with you but um, this piece comes off and then you snap it in there are a couple little holes to snap it in but you can see how it's just look at the orientation on mine um, and you'll get an idea of how that is put in so Again, that's, that's it. Um, great piece. Love it. Um, it's really, really well done. Really heavy. Um, definitely going to be my favorite or, you know, one of my top couple favorites uh, Wolverines in my collection. And that says a lot because I'm a huge Wolverine fan. So anyway, guys, I'm going to get out of the video now and give one last um, spin around. All right. And as always, please um, like and subscribe. Um, more more reviews to come and if you have any comments feel please don't hesitate to post them okay guys have a great weekend